All right, you guys, Law Fragrance is back again today. So, today I wanted to talk to you guys about some more spring picks that I think you should really check out. Now, I already have my top five on my website and stuff. So, there's five more that I really think you should check out for this warmer weather that's here already. So, these are perfect for the summer, the springtime, and like I said, even into the summertime as well. So let's get into these five scents. Now you've heard me talk about some of these often and for rightfully so because they're that damn good. Well, let's get into it. Now, the first one on the list, guys. So Initio, great brand, love their fragrances. They have some amazing scents. One though, I don't hear talked about a lot and I think it's probably their most underrated scent. And I think it's just an underrated scent period, not just for them, but overall. And this is so perfect for this warmer weather. This is going to be musk therapy. Guys, this, uh, that was upside down. So here, I'll show you guys there. So musk therapy, guys, what will you pick up here? You'll definitely get the citrus in there. You'll definitely get a beautiful musk with some woody notes. This will be perfect for spring and summer during the daytime. You can wear this in any setting. I mean, you could even wear this to the gym. Now, I wouldn't suggest it because it's an expensive, high-quality scent. But if you're like, hey, I just want to show off and smell good in the gym, then you could do it there too. But ideally, this is an office scent, or let's say you're on a lunch date with somebody that you're trying to impress. This would be a great one. Guys, this is just beautifully blended. The musk in here is just so high-quality. Everything about the scent is high-quality. It's so slept on. I, you know, I think when people talk about an issue, you talk about side effect, you know, the oud for, oud for greatness, rehab, but this just flies under the radar and don't understand why. But on the sampler set, you can check it out for yourself. All right, so this next set, you've heard me talk about it a lot. Now, I haven't tried every Mancera fragrance. I mean, I think they have like, what, close to 200 at this point, it seems like, but I haven't tried everything. But so far from what I've tried, and I wanna say I've tried about at least 10. This is still the best one to me. This is a wood lemon mint. So you're gonna get citrus in there. You're gonna get some patchouli in there. You're gonna get some oud. I do pick up the oud in here as well. This is one though that I would probably not wear to the office because my wife has told me, she says it's kind of strong for her nose. And you know, she's not the biggest fan of oud and she says she could pick it up there. So I would probably say avoid that, but during the daytime, you're going out or something, this would be a good scent to wear. Now, I do go nose blind to this. So, where a lot of scents I can smell what I'm wearing and I can sniff it, for some reason, I do go nose blind to this on my skin. As you can see, I put a pretty good sized dent in there. It is what it is. I don't know what the notes are in there that makes it go nose blind, but hey, everybody has a different experience. So, I love this scent though. From what I have, you know, and I have smelled and what I can sniff on my skin or from the cap, it's gorgeous. Love it. Again, I just don't know the. Perf I just, I've, i My wife has told me she smells about eight to ten hours on my skin because after that point she can still smell it. Like I said, I have gone nose blind to it after a couple hours, so I feel like it's gone. And she says it's there. So one to definitely check out from Mancera. Um, I still think it's their best scent. Again, I know they've come out with a bunch of new releases that have been getting a lot of hype. So I have to experience those. But from what, like, from what I have have experienced and you've seen my video, a wood lemon mint is a top dog. All right, so this next one, you've heard me talk about this house. And I, I feel like they have quite a few scents that I think are worth checking out. Now, I haven't tried everything from them. I've been curious. I think I've tried about five or six different ones. And so far, so good. So this one, is from Fugazi. This is Saint Remy. Now, let me tell you guys something. I've told a few of my friends about this scent. I mean, they've helped put the dent in this bottle as well, and they love it. And this is a great scent that you could just use in any occasion during the daytime. Yes, even for the office. And it'll smell different from the office, but masculine and high quality. So you're going to get some citrus in here. You'll get the juniper in there. You will get some pepper in there, and then the vetiver in the dry down. Guys, again, if you love vetiver and you love those notes, and I think that makes for a nice, clean, masculine fragrance, this is one that you will definitely want to check out. And like I said, don't just take my word for it. If I could get my friends on this video, they would tell you the same thing, that St. Remy is worth checking out. 
it's and now I I want to say no. One thing I will say is that my friends that have tried this and do love it are in their late twenties, going into their thirties. So for the younger person, I'm not too sure how you would feel about it. But if you're in that going in your late twenties and older, one you definitely want to check out. All right, this next scent I've talked about a lot recently, and when I tell you. <laughs> I've been talking about it a lot. It's for good reason. That's because I'm trying to tell you guys that I love this scent. And I do love it. And that's why it's on this spring list. Um, like I said, you can watch some of my YouTube videos from a few months ago. And it's one scent that I told people you guys really need to check out. Doesn't get talked about. Don't understand why. And I'm going to talk about it again. Until you guys try it and let me know. This is Olentesima OHV Good B. Guys, this is just such a well blended set it's very uplifting very invigorating perfect for this warmer weather especially if you're sleepy wait spray this on wake you up again it's not a beast mode fragrance you'll get about anywhere between the six to eight hour mark on there but you will get some freshness in there you will get some musk you'll get some amber in there guys this is going to be a scent that i think once you smell it, you'll be like, wow, this is high quality. And this is just something you can use every day and make a signature scent. It's worth checking out. I'll keep talking about it. Like I said, there's a reason why I've mentioned this quite a few times. It is because it is that damn good. So check it out. An Italian house, Owen Tassima, OHV Group B. There's a reason why I've been talking about it. And there's a reason why it's on this list. And the last scent on this list. It's a very classic, classic scent. This was released, I believe, in 1991. So, <laughs> you're talking about, it's a, it has that old school vibe, but it can still fit today. And I absolutely love it. And there's a reason why I threw it on this list. It's from Aubergon Perry. This is Duc de Vervins Le Extreme. So, you're definitely going to get the citrus in there. I love lavender. And you definitely take up the lavender in here. And you're going to get some oak moss in here as well. This is a classy masculine scent. This is one that I, you know, when I tell people, you know, I've had people ask me, hey, I work in an office setting, but I want to smell different and smell like, you know, like expensive. Right here. This is it right here. It fits that vibe. Again, not sure how you younger folks will feel about it, but if you're in the th your 30s and older, you will definitely love the scent, especially if you love lavender like I do. Definitely worth checking out. Now that it's getting warmer, I will be rocking this some more. But guys, that is the five right there. They're on the website, lawfragrances.com. Spring sampler set number two. Guys, it's really worth checking out. Now, most of you might know Oud Lemon Mint. You might even know Musk Therapy if you've delved into the House of Initio. The other three, I don't really hear talked about. So the Fugazi, the Olentissima, the Duke de Vervins, even though it's been out forever. I don't really hear it talked about. So guys, I would check these out. Like I said, perfect for this time of year. Perfect really much in any setting. Like I said, except for Wood Lemon Mint, you might not want to rock it at work. But other than that, guys, definitely check it out. And got a code, Father's Day 2024. Get 20% off. So there's that, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you experienced these scents? Have you experienced the sampler set? Let me know, lawoffragrances.com. Guys, thanks again. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell. It gives you notifications. Jufro!